What's up guys, it's James here and I'm back with another PSVR tutorial for your computer. Today we're looking at something that I think I've been kind of naive and I've just assumed everybody's known how to do, but I want to show you how to connect your PSVR to your Oculus Rift game library. Um, as you guys know, Oculus Rift was the first sort of current gen VR headset and their uh, video game library is, is excellent. They got great games, a lot of, or some of them anyways, are exclusive and it would be great to be able to tap into that and to be able to actually use those games with our PSVR headset. So what I'm going to do, uh, you can watch my other videos if you're not sure how to do this, uh, we're going to launch Trinus. Uh, the order that we do this in is very, very important. I want to make sure I, I clearly tell you that you need to follow a certain order in order for this to work. Um, this will probably be a pretty quick video because, um, you know, once, once it's working, it just works. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up Trinus and um, get that going. And you can check out my other videos if you're not sure how to do that. But we'll get Trinus going. We'll get the headset calibrated. Here we go. I do want to mention one thing that Oculus prefers for its games. Um, it could be the motion controllers that they have. And you can easily do that with your, uh, your move controllers. I got a video on how to set those up. Um, but a lot of the games are going to use an Xbox 360 controller. I got this crazy afterglow one, but you don't need anything this fancy. Um, and you can also use, um, I use a PS4 controller in some cases, and I use DS4 Windows for that. But uh, using an Xbox 360 wired controller is going to give you really good results. So that's what I'm going with here. Now, okay, so Trinus is running. As you can tell, I've already got Steam VR running. And what I'm going to need to do before I kind of get anything else going is I'm going to need to jump over to the Oculus site. Uh, looks like it's um, looks like it's frozen there, but you're going to head over to Oculus Rift website and you're going to download their software. Um, so you just punch in Oculus Rift software download. It'll be the first page that comes up and you download it. All right. Uh, basically what you want to do is get the Oculus Rift store installed on your computer because that's where you're going to have access to all their games. There's one super important step that you can't miss. When you are installing it, it'll ask you to head up, set up your headset. You have to skip the setup. Otherwise, you're going to have to reinstall it all. It's a real, real pain. So once you have that all installed, uh, you're going to be able to search their store. You're going to be able to download their games. You're going to be able to install them to your Oculus Rift library. One important thing within here in our settings, we're going to go to general and you want to make sure unknown sources is turned on. Another thing that somebody mentioned is that you should block Oculus from updating its runtime by going into your firewall and blocking all inbound and outbound from this program. The reason for that is when it updates to its latest runtime, you kind of have to start from scratch again. Um, I had to reinstall and then it worked because um, the latest version isn't compatible with the software we're going to use. All right, but once you've got it, you'll have the games available. And now if I was to just go and play this or start this, it would tell me it's not compatible because I don't have a Rift installed. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a program called Revive. And uh, again, the links will be in the description below. But what you're going to do is you're going to install Revive. And what Revive does is it emulates a Rift to play within Steam VR, and that's really the key here. So if you think about it, it's kind of funny because we have Trinus, which is emulating the VR, PSVR, to look like an HTC Vive, and then we got Revive, 
which is running to emulate the Rift to make it look like an HTC Vive. So all of this works. It just it's kind of tricky and complicated how it works. But I'm going to use a game like Lucky's Tale. What we do when we start up Steam VR now, you're going to see in your dashboard down at the bottom that you have this Revive dashboard symbol. And that is going to allow you to play these Rift games. Now, there are a couple different ways of doing this, but the way that I prefer is that when I go down, by the way, sorry, you should keep the store open. Keep the Oculus store open. I just keep it minimized down here, but you can see everything's ready to go. Okay, so one thing very important that I forgot to mention before we start this is you need to run both uh, Steam um, and Revive in administrator mode, okay? You need to have administrator privileges in order to get this to work properly. And uh, the easiest way to do that is when you run your Steam, right click it, run as administrator, go to your PC, oh, let's find, go into C, uh, I gotta move this over just so I can see it, oh shoot, oh boy. <laughs> Let me just move this over. All right, here we go, put that back. Go into C, Program Files, Revive. Go down to the Revive Overlay, right click, Run as Administrator. Very important, that's gonna make sure that it's gonna work very nicely. Okay, so once again, now with everything running, we've got Lucky's Tale, uh, which is a great game, totally free, excellent game. Um, it really shows off what it can do. Um, then down at your dashboard, you're going to right click the Revive dashboard, inject, go to your C, program files, Oculus, software, software once again, playful Lucky's Tale, you look for the executable file for that game, click it, hit open, and now you will see that the game will now take over in Steam, and we are able to control it with the headset, all right? Now, what you're seeing here is a little preview of what I see in the headset, and in the headset, by the, this is a beautiful, beautiful experience. This is a great game. It looks amazing with the PSVR. And just so you can see, uh, you can obviously tell that the headset is, is tracking properly, but you can see that with the controller, I can now go in, I can load my game, I can play the game, I can have a really, really good time with it. I'm going to just mirror my display so you can actually see what it looks like here. We'll just display the mirror. Uh, that might not work actually now that I think about it. I'll put this one off here. I'll put this one over here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And I'm going to put the headset on and you can actually see what I'm going to be doing up to here. So I'll put the headset on. Just mind, don't mind my messy hair. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go to, uh, I guess I'll go to my latest game. I, oh, it doesn't matter, I'll play any game, just to show you how it works. And as I said, the neat thing about this is it just works, and it works great. So you can see I'm using my controller here, and I can, you know, basically, everything's just gonna work automatically because the Oculus is set up to use an Xbox 360 controller. There's no remapping of the keys. It's just going to work awesome right away, automatically. So it's really great. Now if this was a game that had, let's say, um, touch controllers instead, um, oh, let's just take this off here. If it had touch controllers instead, then what I could do is I could connect my PS Move controllers and get them to function just like the uh, Oculus Move controllers in the game. So uh, I recommend if you do that, that you have at least a two camera setup uh, for your uh, Move controllers so that you got some sort of positional tracking that's better than with just one. All right, so that's one thing that I found. Anyways, as you can tell, it works great. It gives you a whole ton more games that you can play with your PlayStation VR. Um, now we've got HTC Vive, we've got the Oculus library, plus we have the PS4 library. 
all of this is available now to play on the PSVR. It's awesome. So if you want to have any VR experience, um, I r highly recommend that you do this. Try it. You won't be disappointed. It's great. Um, keep an eye on uh, new releases because they're constantly changing things. They're always adding new things. All right. So thanks to the guys at Revive who made this. It's awesome. I highly recommend it. Till next time, make sure to like and subscribe if you want more VR content. Hope to see you next time. Thanks.